Arizona, working at St. John's Hospital along with teaching as an MA instructor at Westwood College and now currently she's working for Dr. Charles A. Safely here in the North Richland Hills area. So we'll just kind of give her our undivided attention and feel free to ask her any questions as we go along. But thank you, Mel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually that's 30 years. <laughs> awesome. That is amazing. So again my name is Charlie and I am married. I have three children which I'm the youngest of and five grandchildren. So you do the math on that one. <laughs> okay. So there was a couple of things that um, Lauren has asked me to come and speak with you about today. And when she asked me to come, I said, so what do you want me to talk to the students about? She said, oh, whatever you want. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking there's just a wealth of information to go over. You know, and I said, okay, so let me kind of condense this a little bit. And she says, well, you know, maybe, you know, talk to them about, you know, a little bit of coding. And I said, well, what's, what, you know, where are they going to be at? You know, is it going to be like at the end of, you know, their school? You know, are they going to be at the beginning of their school? She said, well, it's kind of going to be a mix. So I said, okay, well, that's still kind of wide and wide range of wealth of information to get, you know? And I said, okay, well, okay, how many students are we looking at here? <laughs> so we had to condense it down. I said, so how much time do I have? So, you know, I believe in prayer. So praying about it, I thought, okay, you know, the thing about, this part of it is about, mm, let's look at it as an adventure. You know, we all like adventures, right? So my question to you at this point would be, what do you think about when I say the word challenge? Challenge. Hmm. When someone comes to you and say, this is a challenge, what do you think about when that word is used? <coughs> Better you think of a challenge as something to better yourself? Okay. It pushes you past your comfort zone. Okay. What else do you think of when you hear the word challenge? Something difficult. New experience. New experience. This is how I see the word challenge. Now, it can be termed in a positive way, and that's kind of taking something, sometimes that we hear a word, it's the first thing we do is we go, whoa. <laughs> because it kind of gives you that negative challenge to me is like, like to say it's a struggle, you know, it's, it's like, I don't know, when I hear a challenge, I go, oh, I'm so tired, <laughs> you know, because it just kind of knocks the wind out of you, because you know, along the way, you're going to have that drudgery, you're going to have to struggle along, it's going to be really tough, you know, you're going to have to really, really, you know, like put just like, just so much to it. So I have learned to turn that negative into a better positive. So now I've changed that into my adventure. Because an adventure, when you think about an adventure, what do you do? As a kid, you, 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 you know, your parents would say, let's go on an adventure. What do you do? Oh boy, you know, first thing you think is like, this is going to be fun. You know, curiosity picks up, you get excited, you know, it's like, okay, so wonder, right? That's how you think about fun, right? What else do you think about when you Thing you want to learn, don't you? Well, this is the point you're at right now. You're at an adventure. When you decided to better your education, go beyond high school, and do something different, you started a new adventure. You have all those keys in there. So these are the lists that I have here. Wonder, brightness, this kind of gives you that rainbow color. New, change, right? Kind of comes with that adventure aspect. Opportunities, hope. Because when we start an adventure, we're hoping for the best of everything in that adventure, right? When we see challenges, we don't necessarily see as much hope in that as when we say the word. So now we're going to break that adventure down a little bit. So your adventure has now started. You stepped into school, right? Okay. So 
now I want to look at a person next to me. I want to look at the person behind you. The person you may be looking at may be your next boss. So how do you present yourself right now? Mm -hmm. How you present yourself right now may determine how your adventure ends. So, remember they used to talk about how, what about character? You know, character is how, what you do when no one else is looking. Guess what? Somebody's always looking. Mm -hmm. You just don't always see them. Your fellow students that don't come to class, they don't follow instructions talk bad or talk loud or you're always talking about somebody. When I have an applicant that applies in my office and one of my fellow employees tells me, I know her. And I'll go, really? And they'll go, yeah, I know her. Like, what do you want? She went to school with me. And I'll say, really? Tell me a little something about her. Ooh. That's scary. <laughs> that is scary. Well, that's a test for them or for the person applying. Well, if the person that applied, now that person that I, I'm going to ask my employee, she's already working. She went to school with you, per se. I'm going to say, you know her? Yeah, I went to school with her. Tell me about her. surprised I actually have um, a, a great example similar to what she's saying I um, worked at another college prior to coming here and I had who I you know my peers mm -hmm. who I was on an equal playing ground with as my peers transition happened and I ended up coming here and then got in a position of where I'm able to bring people on and get people hired on and I was able to pick one out of all of those that I've worked with who I knew had a passion and had a good personality and I was able to bring that lady here. Others seeing that she was getting ready to make the same transition, well I want to go. No, that's not going to work because I recall all the things you did when I worked yeah. with you. I'm not going to bring that type of behavior over here where I am now to disturb my peace and to keep things in constant frustration. Exactly. So you never know when the tables will turn. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that brings that, as far as adventure and starting at school, that brings down the wonder, the brightness, the hope, the change that comes to your attitude. Mm -hmm. It's starting here. It's time to change. It's no longer even high school. All that garbage that you collected along the way 
garbage in is garbage out, good in changes the garbage and throws it out. So it's time to input good things so that we can get out all the garbage. So we no longer have to think about what we're doing, who's watching it, and who's not seeing, or who may be seeing. Okay? So we need to change that attitude. can't change it. She can't change it. You got to start with it first. And I think with that conscious effort, that conscious knowledge of knowing what you know now, you have now the tools to make that effort and that change that you want to make right now. Okay? Something to think about. We'll start with a thought. Mm -hmm. Right? All right. So we're going to go to the next want to be rich, hang out with rich people. Mm -hmm. You want to be poor, mm, okay, go hang out with some poor people. You want to be a gossip monger, go hang out with gossip mongers. I used to tell my daughter when she was growing up, she kind of like a role model for that kind of thing. I used to tell her, you hang out with dogs, you get out with poor people. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if your grandma was still there, for those of you that know those things. And she never understood that until she got in high school. <laughs> Start hanging out with these little girls little fast. She was in class and they were out doing something. Well, they got in trouble and they called her into the office too. She said, I, I wasn't with them. Mm -hmm. But because she was part of that crowd, mm -hmm. they assumed mm -hmm. she was in it as well. Had she not been in her class at the time, even though, you know what I'm saying, she would have been in trouble as well as the girls. Mm -hmm. So it kind of clicked with her at that point. When she got home, she said, now mom, I understood. I understand now what you meant by when you said, when you lay down with dogs, you get up with poor people. So it goes back to that thing. If you want to be rich, hang out with rich people. <laughs> right? The same with your attitude 